hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a normalized difference vegetation index using uh, lancet 8 data in rgis pro a step-by-step -step guide so let's get started and now let me explain about the ndvi so normalized difference vegetation index is widely used in remote sensing tool to assess and monitor the vegetation health and density the NDVI is calculated using the reflectance value of the two different spectral bands, usually the red and near infrared band from the satellite imagery. So we are specifically using uh, Lancet 8 data. So, so to perform a normalized difference vegetation index, we are using band 4 that is of a red band and band 5 that is near infrared band. And here the near infrared band is commonly used in satellite and aerial imagery remote sensing. It provides some valuable information about the vegetation health soil composition and other environmental factors. So the formula to calculate the NDVI is band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So here the NIR refers to near infrared band and the band 4 here refers to red band. So the result is the value ranging from minus 1 to plus 1. So higher NDVI value that is a plus value plus 1 value indicates a healthier and more dense vegetation while the lower values there is a negative value corresponds to the less vegetation or stressed vegetation. So the interpretation for NDVI value here shows here the higher NDVI value that is greater than 0.6 indicates the dense and healthy vegetation and the moderate NDVI varying from 0.2 to 0.6 represents a moderate vegetation cover and the low NDVI value of uh, lesser than 0.2 indicates a spare vegetation or a non vegetative surfaces. Application so uh, NAR, NDVI is specifically used in agricultural areas. For example, the NAR band is uh, used in agriculture to assess the health, health and the nutrient content of the crops. The plant absorbs and reflects the NAR radiation in the way that can be measured to determine their condition. For example, a healthy vegetation reflects the NIR, reflects the NIR and uh, a non-healthy vegetation is significantly absorbs the NIR radiation. So a healthy vegetation reflects the NIR radiation and the unhealthy vegetation is absorbs the NIR radiation. So applications here vegetation monitoring. So NDVI is widely used for monitoring and changes in vegetation cover and time. And land cover classification helps to classifying the different land cover types based on vegetation density. The draft and stress detection. So it can be used to identify the areas experiencing the draft or vegetation stress. And the NIR band has a unique uh, property that makes it suitable for a range of uh, applications. Its ability to interact with and provide information about the different material makes it a valuable tool in scientific research, industries and various technological applications. And now let me show you the, the bands in the Lancet 8 data. So Lancet 8 has uh, around 11 bands starting from band 1 to band 11. So band 1 to band 6 is of 30 meter resolution and band 7 it is of 60 meter resolution and band 8 is a panchromatic band of 15 meter resolution and uh, band 10 and 11 is of uh, thermal infrared band of 100 meter resolution. So now let me get back to our RGIS Pro. So to calculate the in, uh, calculate our NDVI in RGIS Pro first we have to uh, download our Lancet 8 data from the official website called USGS Earth Explorer. So this is the official website that is USGS Earth Explorer where you can download your Lancet 8 data and the link will be given in the description to how to download a Lancet 8 data. Please check out the description section of this video. So once you have downloaded your Lancet 8 data, so you can navigate to your folder location. So by going to this option called view section and click this option called catalog pan. So once you did that, a window pops up saying catalog here. So here in the folder section, you can just make a folder connection to your desired folder location where you have downloaded your Lancet 8 data. So I have made a folder connection here. So that is Lancet 8 data here. You can able to visualize here. So to perform our NDVI, we're going to first, we're going to do a band composite. So for that, we're going to use specifically use band 1 to band 6 to perform our band composite. So for that, we're going to select this particular set of bands from band 1 to band 6. So for that, we're going to select hold the control key in our keyboard and select each of this band starting from band 1 to band 5 and 6, 1 to band 6. So once you did that, we're going to right click this uh, particular set of bands we have selected and we're going to click this option called add to the current map. 
so once you're doing that so we have added our uh, Lancet 8 bands starting from band 1 to 6 to our to our arc uh, that is our table of content section here to the table of content here so now let me arrange these bands uh, starting from 1 to 6 let me arrange that and now you can uh, able to visualize here we are arranged from band 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so now let us perform band composite so band composite pretty easier in our gs pro to uh, so go to this option called imagery so in that we're gonna select this option called process so in that we're gonna select this uh, option called composite so it combines the multiple data sets into a multi-band raster so we're gonna click this and once you did that it's uh, it's gonna run and gonna create our band composite and before that uh, we have to make sure that we select all the bands together for example let me select band 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so once you have selected all these bands that is band 1 to band 6 so you have to navigate to the imagery section in that we're gonna click this option called process and after that we're gonna click this composite and now it's, it's gonna generate our band composite here so now we can able to visualize here we have generated our composite image of from Lancet 8 data so you can clearly able to view that so now let me remove this uh, this bands here and now I've selected this bands I'm gonna remove this so to perform NDVI we're gonna only use this specific uh, composite band here and from here we're gonna select this band so you can change your band uh, combination here so we're gonna right click this layer and go navigate to this option called symbology so in that we're gonna visualize here so it pops up so in that we're gonna select our band different band combination for now we're gonna select the band combination that is a natural color composite so for that we're gonna select band 4 and uh, select band 3 and band 2 so this is our natural color composite and now this is our false color composite so the combination for false color composite is band 5 band 4 and band 3 so this specific order gives us a false color composite so band 5 is our nir and now let us first perform our ndvi analysis here so for that we're going to navigate to this option called imagery so in that we're going to select this option called raster functions so we're going to click this option called raster functions so now a new window pops up saying raster functions so in that we're going to click this option called ndvi so once you did that it's going to navigate to this part of the section here now let me explain about this thing so here the ndvi so it creates a single band uh, data set that represents the vegetation health based on the difference between the red and near infrared bands the negative value uh, represents the cloud water and snow and the value near to zero represents rock and bare soil and now let me click this option ndvi so here we're gonna select uh, our raster in that we're gonna select our composite image so that is our this particular layer composite so now in the visible band we're gonna select band 4 so we're gonna for to generate an ndvi we're gonna use two band one band is of for nir band and the second band is of a band 4 that is our red band so red band is number 4 and the nir that is infrared band is number 5 so now we have selected band 5 and band 4 now click this called the uh, option called scientific output so once you did that we're gonna click this option called create a new layer and now here you can able to visualize here we have our ndvi uh, result you can clearly able to visualize and the value here ranges from minus 1 to 0 0.55 so now let me show you the value so here you can able to visualize here when NDVI value, so the interpretation uh, value of India NDVI value here represented greater than 0 0.6 indicates dense and healthy vegetation, and between 0 0.2 to 0 0.6 represents moderate vegetation cover, and the low NDVI value less than 0 0.2 indicates a spare vegetation or a non vegetated surfaces. And now let me explain one more thing here. I'm going to show you this image. So here you can able to observe here. So minus 1 to 0 represents dead plants or inanimate objects and 0 to 0 0.33 represents unhealthy plants and 0 0.33 to 0 0.66 represents moderate healthy plants and a very healthy plants are represented from 0 0.66 to 1 so this is the interpretation for ndvi value so now let me get back to our arcgis pro 
And now we're gonna right click our NDVI image here, the layer here, right click and click this option called symbology. So now let us visualize the symbology here. Let me expand this. So from here, you can able to visualize, you can select a color scheme of your choice here. You can select here, you can click this down arrow and select the color scheme of your choice here. So there's a variety of color scheme that is available. Now let me click this particular color. And now I can able to visualize it. So from here, you can able to visualize our NDVA value ranges from minus one to 0 0.55. So here, so basically a value varying from minus one to 0 0.55. So 0 0.55, uh, as per the interpretation value we have shown you earlier. So it indicates the moderate vegetation here, in this part of the region. And now let me zoom into the study region. So you can able to visualize here, the dense uh, deep uh, green color that is dark green color indicates the healthy vegetation compared to the light green color indicates of uh, a moderate level of vegetation. So now let us classify this value here. So go to the symbology here that we're going to select our particular option called classify. And once you did that, uh, it requires render. So click yes. So it's computing your statistics and uh, histogram here. And now it's done classifying it. We have a class, it's classified our uh, NDVI. So from here, you can able to visualize here the negative value. The negative value, it indicates all the water bodies. So all the water bodies have been indicated in negative value static from minus one to 0 .0, 0 0.04. All in the, the water bodies are indicated in that particular range of color. So you can able to visualize that. So all uh, non vegetation features are indicated by a negative value of one. So it's clearly indicated here. And the dense vegetation that is from uh, 0 0.3 to 0 0.5, it is clearly indicated in this part of the region as a very good uh, vegetation. That is a healthier vegetation compared towards the northwestern part of the region and also central part of the region. The towards the southeastern part of the region has a very good uh, vegetation here. So and also here you can also reduce or increase the number of class according to your choice. You can just increase the number of class according to your choice or you can also reduce it. So uh, that's how we can able to prepare our NDVR image using our RGIS Pro. So we have used Lancet A data. So in this video I have shown you how to create our NDVI image that is normalized to difference vegetation index using Lancet A data in RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.